coming into the Irish squad, I suppose, listening to the way the lads talk about having played against France because they've had so few um, results over them, you know, it probably was nervy the first time playing them, but over the last couple of seasons, you know, I've, I've uh, been very lucky, you know, to win my first cap, obviously, down in Bordeaux, um, beautiful place, you know, and, and, and really enjoyed that. And the last couple of years, we've had two draws against them, and obviously, um, the pick of them all is when we, we managed to get a win in, in the Stade de France, which is incredibly special. And for a young player, and a younger member of the squad, you know, to do it so early on, you know, just in the dressing room afterwards, I was sitting, sitting with Paul O'Connor, and I asked him, "Is that, is that your? How many results have you had over here?" And it was his first time in 12, 13 years ever, ever winning over there. So to, to do it so early in, in our careers is, is um, something we have to be very, uh, feel very lucky about, you know. I, I love the game, you know. I love playing it, and, and when you're young, it's just about enjoying it and loving it. And I suppose when you start playing representative rugby late in school, maybe in fifth or sixth year, when you when you get picked for the 18s, monster schools, and I suppose that's when you you really get the uh, the hunger for it, and, and you see see what you could potentially have. So uh, yeah, from then on, it, it started, you know, and then moving into the academy, it, it was def definitely a dream. It's hugely um, hugely nervous kind of a week, you know. No one really said it, but you could just feel it in the air that there was. There was something big about to happen, you know, we were going to be playing in a big game and it's that relief thing again, you know, the kind of relief dressing room where you can just relax you now, the, the pressure is, is over, you know, you, you've got the result and you can you can just enjoy it because the, the, the day of the game especially is, isn't enjoyable, you know, the nerves are at you and you can barely hold your food down and, you know, just, just to be able to just sit back and, and take it all in is nice. Yeah, I ended up in a good position for, uh, for Keane, Keane Healy, selfie. Um, you know, he, he, he was, um, we were all quite keen to do it, you know, it was a bit of fun and selfies are kind of the team at the moment, you know, anytime you're, you meet a fan it's, it's a selfie rather than you standing in a photo on your own, so uh, a, lot, a lot of lads dress quite well within our squad, you know, obviously Dave Kearney and Madigan who are on board with the lifestyle thing as well, they're, um, they're quite well dressed um, most of the time and there's obviously times when they try out things that don't work, but uh, we all do that, but uh, you know, there's a, there's a, I think we're a well dressed squad, I'd like to think we are, yeah. I suppose it's because we've such amount of free time. You you end up uh, buying silly silly amounts of clothes for yourself, which which isn't good. You know you probably have to be a bit more disciplined in that regard. But I do I do enjoy going shopping with the. I know Peter O'Mahony is a, a quite a fan of it, and he's always around if you want a, a buddy to go shopping with. And yeah, um, obviously fingers crossed, all going well. Um, there's an Irish tour to Argentina, so that would be obviously. Um, a name of mine to, to go down there and, and, and be involved in that, which, which would be great. Um, and then every summer we four weeks off, so it's kind of difficult to plan summer holidays because there are tours and everyone's off at different times and usually your mates who don't play rugby are gone on a, a three month holiday summer, so that, that's usually not an option. So I suppose just about pooling together as a group of players and, um, and picking a place and going. I think um, Thailand is an option this year, which um, I was there a couple of years ago, which I, I really enjoyed. Um, and if we are in Argentina, um, all going well, the, the World Cup's on in Rio, the Soccer World Cup, so I think, um, I think Jamie Heaslip is trying to organise a, a few tickets for, for us to attend the game down there, which would be quite special as well. So a few options and mainly I just want to get a bit of sun and, and relax and get away. Especially during the summer, you know, when training is at its most intense, it's pre-season, there's a lot of fitness and there's a lot of weight, so you're always quite tired at the end of the week and it's nice to just shoot off down to Darien where I spent uh, the majority of my youth summers down there, so it's nice. And a lot of the lads actually still go there who play rugby, you know, Peter O'Mahony goes down there, there's, there's a, a handful of lads that still go there, so break away down there and, and get into the sea and, and come back on Sunday evenings and, and you feel fresh again, so that's, that'll definitely be part of my pre-season. The days off from Munster would be, usually you, you get a Wednesday off, you know, with a Saturday game, so it's mainly about recovering and maybe get a, a massage early in the morning, but then, Head away, maybe play a game of golf out in out in a dare with, with my dad, or or just just get away from rugby and switch off. You know, I think that's crucial that you have other things going on. You know, obviously still in college, so maybe a bit of study um, on a very very odd chance on a, on a Wednesday. But uh, usually it's just about getting away, getting away from rugby and, and switching off and, and doing other things.